This is an interactive simulation that uses a Carnot cycle and allows for a difference in temperature between the high temperature of the cycle, for example, 490K, and the high temperature of the high temperature reservoir, in this case 500K, and likewise the difference between the low temperature of the Carnot cycle and the low temperature reservoir. And then it calculates the entropy change of the low temperature reservoir, the entropy change of the high temperature reservoir, the sum of those two values calculates the efficiency, which is the absolute value of the work divided by the heat input to the cycle. And also shown here is the heat that's exhausted from the cycle to the low temperature reservoir. In addition, it does the same calculations for a heat pump by selecting this button here. And in that case, instead of efficiency, coefficient of performance is calculated. And the two sliders allow you to change the temperature difference between the reservoir and the high temperature of the cycle. So the high temperature reservoir, that temperature is fixed. The low temperature reservoir's temperature is also fixed. And the temperature difference can be changed and we'll look at the simulation to see the effect of changing that temperature difference. So here's the interactive simulation. You can see as we change the temperature difference, the efficiency decreases, the total entropy change increases. Likewise, as we change the temperature difference between the low temperature reservoir and the low temperature in a cycle, the efficiency decreases further, total entropy change increases. For the heat pump running, we're now inputting work, calculating the coefficient of performance, and coefficient of performance is higher when, in this case, the temperature is the same for the low temperature reservoir and low temperature cycle, unless make both those temperatures the same. So now we're looking at the reversible case, total entry change is zero, and we have a high coefficient of performance, and as I increase this temperature difference, coefficient of performance is decreasing and my entropy is increasing. And you notice the amount of work required to transfer 600 joules of heat. This is what we're keeping constant in addition to the temperatures. Then the amount of work increases and so of course the amount of heat we're exhausting increases. This gives you a little better idea of how a Carnot cycle behaves and how all this irreversibility because the temperature difference affects coefficient performance and entropy change.